Welcome to Stunt Lab. Today we're going to uh, test a new pad cover concept, which is an adjustable uh, service engine top pad. And we're going to have a pop quiz on uh, knots today. So come on in and uh, check it out. This is our crew, and Bill came in and he caught everybody with the pop quiz on knots. He made him do four or five knots, uh, you know, team building. And we're going to uh, it's kind of a surprise test. Bill does surprise tests for these guys every once sure. in a while. The concept of this pad cover is fairly simple, but yet it's a very unique idea. When you take two pads and you put them together, the center of the pad where you do your, your jump is right where the uh, crack is. So if you're going into a single pad, you fall right here. If you go and put two together to give you a, a bigger landing area, if you fall into the center, you tend to want to go into the uh, crack of the pad. So it's a very simple fix by just putting a cover over the top of the pad. Um, you eliminate the uh, the hole in the center, but then the the the, the sides tend to pop up and get into the shot a little bit. So what we were trying to accomplish uh, was would it be possible to create a pad cover that would have a skirt on all four sides that would come down over the sides of the pad to hold the pad together so that when you hit it would hold the sides down and help you f prevent you from falling down into this hole and then after that problem was solved which was fairly simple by putting the top on and the skirts uh, I thought about is it possible to uh, vary the surface tension on the top of the pad by tightening the sides of the covers. Now when you when you talk about surface tension, uh, surface tension is, is uh, how much tension there is on the top of the pad so that the top of the pad becomes stiffer or softer. The more surface tension you have, the stiffer the pad becomes. So what I was theorizing was is it possible to make a pad that is tunable, that you can make softer for smaller jumpers or stiffer for bigger jumpers by creating more tension on the sides, creating more surface tension on top. So we developed a uh, cover that has a skirt that goes down over the side, Velcro adjuster, and the theory is, is that if you leave it loose, that there's less surface tension on the top of the pad, which means that the pad is softer and if you have a bigger jumper, if you tighten it and pull it tight, it'll uh, squeeze the pads in slightly and create more surface tension on the top of the pad. So the theory is that it'll make the pad stiffer for bigger jumpers. So if we have a small jumper, we go all the way loose. And if we have a bigger jumper, we can go tight. And that way we can have an adjustable uh, surface tension on the pad. So it's all a theory. And we're going to test that theory out. And if it doesn't work, uh, we have a great pad cover that's, that will fit on multiple sides. We still haven't arrived at our final design yet, but we've proven that the theory works, that we can create different surface tensions by uh, adjusting the, the sides of the pads. And it also helps prevent the falling into the center of the pad. Um, obviously, we will finalize our design and our, our tuning uh, and then we'll go to pads that go this way where when you're doing air ramps or Russian swing you don't hit the pad as well because it, it, it's inevitable you always jump to the center of the pad and, and you always end up going into the hole between the two. So that's it's a very simple idea but it's a very revolutionary idea at the same time and so we've put quite a bit of effort and money into this idea. Um, I think it's worth pursuing. 